Hey everyone, it is Runaway Voyager, and I'm going to be doing a commentary video this time with a hand cam, as you can see. This series that I'm going to be doing is pretty basic series, but hope. Are you kidding me? Uh, as I was saying, hopefully it'll be a pretty fun series. Since I have four gaming ma mice, I thought I would do it as a uh, club playing with the blah blah blah. And I'm playing with the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste this time around, as you can see. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. It's not going to be like a really in-depth review or anything. It's just going to be like just a little thing that might help you decide if you like it or not. Anyways, let's get it right into some game. What are some things that I, I like about this mouse? Well, one, I really, really like the build quality. Looks like we got the newbie person in the lobby as our first rush. That's quite good. You're kidding me. Looks like I'm the newbiest player in the starting lobby. I really should have built up more. That was my fault. Looks like he's going to make a rush for it. What a champ. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Can I store it? Okay, I got it. Hey! None of that. Now that I got a trap and a heal pool, I'll go for green because I just saw white at mid and uh, I'm in a bad spot right here. But also I can get a final over here because like I'm in between green and pink. Oh, and white. My bad. My final. Let's go, let's go. I got the stone sword and the iron armor. Give me that. Oh my god, I am so good and rich. Into the void we go. So I don't know what what is happening when free look is a unfair advantage. And yet, being able to tell what's in your ender chest while not looking in your ender chest isn't. So like right now I can tell I got 257 iron and 34 gold in my ender chest. I just don't, like that kind of seems unfair to me. Can, can you just pause it for a second, bro? I'm, I'm trying to get one more time so I can get prop two and sharp. Okay, he's worked up his courage enough to come after me. Because, like, you know, I'm really scary. Watch how scary I am. Boom. When I say you should be scared of me, you should be scared of me. Ready? Boom. Ah! Ah! I mean, I'm glad you used that up. To, like, what? I'm just gonna give him a question mark. Or two. Now he knows who he's up against. Most dangerous player he's ever fought. Oh my god. Watch this. Diamond sword, bro! Bye bye diamond sword. Holy crap, that was scary. Bro. Okay, I can get it. Why is it that when I play on this map I have to encounter these people? You know what, maybe I should just go this way. Fight him here. And then go get his back, actually. Holy, that guy was stacked! Here we are in the second game of the video. 
We're on Gateway, one of my favorite maps. There's a sweat in this game. He's like level 118, according to my level head. Whenever that kind of thing happens, it's kind of like, I hope he's my first rush because um, I want to just get it over with if I can win. Like, I don't want to like, you go the whole game only to lose at the very end. So I've been working on a texture pack recently and it's going to take a while for me to finish it because it's a, like one of my first texture packs that I've really worked on. Like you've seen my first texture pack that I worked on, but that wasn't really like a serious project. This one is like an actually serious project. I'm going to actually try this and uh, I'm going to try and make this a good pack. And actually I started with 32X because I don't like 16X packs. I mean, I like them. I like playing with them. Where the heck are you? I like playing with them, I just don't like making them because the problem I have with them is I just can't fit all the details and different things into them that I want to, so I'm stuck with like, because there's only a limited amount of designs you can do with something like this. But when you have 32x, there is still somewhat, it is still somewhat limiting, but it's much less limiting. You can include whatever details you want. This guy needs to... What the heck is this guy's hit? Maybe it's just because I'm recording. Whole game's going by. There we go. My commentary video is just to end up being like all over the place because I want to make the commentary enjoyable, but I don't really have a specific, I mean, I do have a specific subject. There's just not very much to say about a mouse, in my opinion, unless I'm doing an in-depth review and I don't know how to do those. So I'm just kind of stuck with this, but let me try and talk about the mouse, okay? So it is, oh, that's too bad, man. You know, putting down Obby. Red. So the build quality of this mouse is really good. Okay. The uh, the button size. That's my main complaint, which is a lot of other people's main complaints. Is the button size is absolutely horrible. Like I can still get decent CPS, but it's not comfortable, and it's also not only is it not comfortable. Like you, you most of your double clicks. They come from the very end of the mouse, so you have to hit the very edge right here. Holy ah! No! <laughs> My aim! That guy, I needed to kill that guy so bad. I'm gonna buy Protner Trap rather than Sharpness. Nah, you know what? Sharpness. I might lose my bed, but like, I, I, I won't know if I'm gonna lose my bed, but this is gonna be better in PvP. Words of a sweat. Believe me, if I'm not recording, I'm so much sweatier. I'm recording, and since I have a bad PC, that really dampens my ability to do well. So, subscribe. Help me get a better PC. If you enjoy my content, or you take pity. What other, whatever, like, maybe you have, like, one of those NASA computers. You're just basically, like, like just 2,000 FPS Minecraft gameplay, and you're like, oh, like, yeah, I'm playing lowly, playing on a lowly 70 FPS. Yeah, I'll help him out, because... Everyone deserves to have a thousand FPS and above. <sighs> oh. <sighs> and yellow's fucking emeralds again. This isn't good. The durability of this mouse seems through the roof, to be honest. Like, it's, it's very, it's very strong. Like, there's no flex whatsoever. Alright, let's... You're gonna pearl? Is this guy searching for a place to pearl? How? That's a that's This is not unique to this guy. Every time I throw a fireball, they deflect it. I mean, if you really want to. Why? What the heck is- Alright, alright. I'm done with this game. Uh, here are some drag clicking and bridging- Clips. I'm not very good at them, but I, I can do them a little bit. So I'll just get some good clips for you and then Yeah, I'll put it in the video like comment subscribe and um, Let me know which one of the uh, Mice I have you want me to do next. I got the steel series rival 600 the bloody a60 and the model O. although basically everyone knows about the model O, So I might not even do that one and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Bye